term. Uh, if your children have been to the Grange Primary School in Shrewsbury, I think they will be mega excited today. There's been all sorts of Jubilee celebrations going on, including the visit of a helicopter from RAF Shawbury. Uh, I was there earlier chatting to a few of the pupils. My name's Maggie. It's the Jubilee, the Queen's Jubilee, and we're planting a tree to remember the day. So how does it feel to be part of this special occasion and be planting this tree? It feels really nice because they've like, chosen me to do it and stuff. Is that because of your gardening skills? I don't know. I don't really do gardening. This but... could be the start of things for you. Yeah, might be. <laughs> you'll, you'll be helping in the garden this weekend now, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Ava. I've been like, making flags in art and we've been painting them with blue, yellow, red and white. So they're bright colours? Yeah. Uh, is, is that ready for some sort of Jubilee celebration party? We're having a picnic so all of our parents can come and have a little picnic on the grass and stuff. Fantastic. Do you know what you're going to be eating yet? We've been making cupcakes and and people have been bringing cakes in that they've made at home. There's going to be a lot of cake here. Do you have a favourite cake? Um, chocolate cake. Chocolate, yeah, I'd be, I'd be with you on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'll, ra I'll race you to it. My name is Charlie Summers and I'm head teacher of the Grange Primary School. We've had a great day. It started off with RAF Shawbury coming and landing a helicopter on the school grounds, which the children were so excited about. They all waved and were cheering and clapped when they landed. They also helped us judge our cake competition because the children at home have worked with the parents and made the most amazing cakes, which you can see on our social media page, but uh, all decorated with Union Jacks and uh, pictures of the Queen and flags and uh, they're just beautiful, really Really tough um, choice and then as the girls said this afternoon we're having a big picnic a big celebration on this on, on the grounds um, with our picnic blankets and we're inviting the local community in to share the cake and to be merry and have a wonderful time at the Grange. What, what does it mean to, to be able to put these things on these, these events on to celebrate the Jubilee? It's just so lovely getting everyone back together celebrating that togetherness which I think during Covid times we've lost but um, getting getting together I think that's what we're about here at the Grange and uh, being Grangers. Being Grangers. Oh, I like that. Being Grangers. Absolutely. I... My name is Tia. Were you there when the helicopter landed? Yes, I was, and it, and it was just awesome. I had earphones because it was too loud for me. I'm Ruby. Well, it was very windy. It kept blowing over to us that we were over there, and it made the grass, like, fly up and go round. And what have you learned about helicopters now it's landed? So I've learned that helicopters... So I, I, know, I know a lot about helicopters, by the way. So helicopters need these motors to, like, to pull themselves up in the air. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called a helicopter. It would just be called a, the uh, triangle-shaped car, like, a, yeah. And, and without the back propeller, it won't do its speed. The back so the back it, propeller is where the speed comes from? Yeah, once I flew in one in my old school. And Did you? Yeah. What was that like? It was very high and we had to wear like headphones in the helicopter because it was so loud. Ah, tracks away. Uh, excited pupils there at the Grange Primary School in Shrewsbury. I mean, I'm not really on a helicopter radio. I'm just talking into my hand like that. Uh, I know I had you fooled, didn't I? Um, the the helicopter I didn't get to go up in it either. The the helicopter from RAF Shawbury visited as part of their jubilee celebrations. That included a picnic this afternoon that I think they had perfect weather. For